Give me another is back in, they're all set to go, and they're racing away from that 1600 meter start to a good beginning for them. Beginning nicely was Humdinger, off to her favorite role. She's out at the head of affairs. Give me another, is racing second in the early stages, just two lengths behind her stable companion. In third is Bavarian Beauty. Then came Perfect Witness. Further back is Emma Gina. They're going at a good clip out there. Further back to Mrs. Geriatrics, racing one from the back, and Gilded Butterfly is the trailer. There's about seven, eight lengths in it. In the Tab Empress Club stakes as they round the side of the course, and they've got 1,200 meters to go. It's Humdinger the leader by two lengths. Gimme another is perfectly positioned in second placing. Then came Perfect Witness in third and Bavarian Beauty races away in fourth. Mrs. Geriatrix is here in fifth in the pink colors is four to five lengths off the leader. Then came Emirat Gina and the back marker is Gilded Butterfly as they round the home turn here at Turf and Tain. They've got 800 meters left to go in the Tab Empress Club Stakes and it's Humdinger in her favorite role. She led it by two and a half from Gimme another in second. In third, Bavarian Beauty Beauty. Mrs. Geriatrix is right down the center of the track, further back to Perfect Witness, and then came Gilded Butterfly. Now into the last 400 meters, it's still humding at the leader by length. Gimme another's being asked the question back in second. Further away to Mrs. Geriatrix and Perfect Witness, they've got 300 meters left to go. Humdinger still rolls. Gimme another looms up alongside and goes on by with 200 meters left to go, and it's Gimme another who hits the front in the tab. Empress Club stakes. Gimme another leads by two from Humdinger and South Africa. Stand up and salute our new racing sensation. Gimme another, beats home Humdinger. Four lengths away to Mrs. Geriatrics in third, then Gilded Butterfly, Perfect Witness, Bavarian Beauty, and Emirat Gina. Well, many expected her to win today, and she has delivered at Group 1 level, winning the Million Rand Grade 1 at Tab Empress Club Stakes. JP van der Merwe must have been a bit nervous going into the race because he dismounted her on the way down to the start. He sat closer up than normal, picked up the stable companion Humdinger, who ran a terrific race back in second. But South Africa can really be proud of our new racing sensation. Mentioned by Nico Gritiotis, it is a seven from a seven. It has been a, just a, a very, very meteoric uh, rise uh, through the ranks. It was a grade three, then it was a couple of grade twos. And now we've got uh, the uh, group one at Tab Empress Club stakes, a grade one, contested over the 1600 meters. And that is victory going to uh, give me another. Now, this is a uh, homebred. Well done uh, to the breeders, Fokker Bostrip and Morris Fontaine, racing in the colors of uh, Morris Fontaine PTY Limited. Nominee, Mrs. J. B. Gel, and it is so, so, so unfortunate that uh, due to logistical problems, she cannot be here, I'm sure. If she was to be anywhere else right now, she would be here to lead in her beloved uh, Give Me Another. Nonetheless, uh, we have uh, Mrs. Uh, Mary Slack to be here to uh, represent uh, the ownership and, of course, uh, to present uh, the uh, trophies, or at least to accept the trophy on behalf of uh, Mrs. Uh, Gel. Well, Anna, to all concerned, uh, Give Me Another, J.P. van der Merwe, I would hate to be in his uh, shoes as far as the pressure, the air expectation, but they've gotten to know each other oh so well, and it will be interesting to hear his uh, the performance today as opposed uh, to that uh, performance on a uh, classic day. Well done uh, to all concerned and of course uh, the order finished it will be a 1-2 for Mike de Kock uh, the pace at uh, Humdinger uh, stayed on gamely under the urgings of uh, Pierre Stryker Stratum that is the one a five year old daughter of uh, What a Winter. Third uh, to a much improved uh, Mrs. Geriatrix uh, back on uh, the high felt and I'm sure a very encouraging performance for all the ownership in uh, their uh, traditional pink silks who were here. But but of course, in, in the traditional black and a gold or silk, so do I call it yellow? It is uh, JP van der Merwe. JP, you're going to tell us about this horse. I'm actually not going to ask too many questions. This was a win number seven, a grade one to boot. And uh, last time out, it was over the 1,800 meters. We did talk about a slight flat spot, but you did get the response when you asked again. Today's things that seem to be smooth, although a bit of a scare down at the gates. Yeah, like another feeling nice. It's also pretty straightforward um, but the temperament's getting a bit of a problem now she was a bit hot today even with the lead pony and in the gates a bit aggressive she eats herself in the gate um, that's why we took her out and we just had a look at the eye she's a small cut underneath the eye doctor was happy nothing serious and um, yeah uh, obviously not so happy with the draw but I had to 
to go positive or pull it back. And then um, sticky going, I wasn't too sure if I want to be too far back. So uh, I broke positive. Um, I sat behind Humdinger, got into the shot, just checked Humdinger, I think 400 out, gave, gave a nice clear run and putting it through her gears and that's, a, that's about it. Now the pace set by your stable companion Humdinger was a good pace. Humdinger is always consistent galloper and the faster she goes, the more she gives at the end. She doesn't really turn it on, so yeah, I was very happy with the pace. Uh, yeah. Well, get out of the sun, but before you do that, it is our CEO of uh, content, uh, Mr. Stephen Watson, to hand you your trophy. And uh, JP, much uh, deserved, and uh, may you go from strength to strength, uh, you and uh, give me another, and in your own capacity. All right, next up, it is going to be David uh, for the impact uh, that is uh, going to be. So, oh, sorry. I was going to say happy birthday to Stephen. Uh -huh. um, yeah, well done to the whole team. And my sponsor, Price Nucleus, big thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. Right, uh, that is Stephen Jell, husband uh, to uh, Jesse, and of course, wow, what a day. And uh, what a week, second time we meet, but this is the one you really wanted. Yes, uh, first of all, I, like, uh, I would like to say thanks to uh, JP to be, best, to be patient of the source. Of course, I was giving me a little bit worried when I saw them in the stores. So I thought to myself, oh, what is going to happen today? I saw them when he went through the gate. He bumped the gate and then he go out again. So I was starting to feeling the pressure from there. But it's definitely, uh, I'm very happy the way that JP managing to ride today. Thanks for my boss for the give me opportunity to come to standing here today to represent. This is a very beautiful feeling. So big thanks also for the World Bush Drift Maurice Fontaine to breed such a beautiful animal like this one. He never see through my life. It's the first time it's since from the 1998 when I remember the record of Hobek winning like seven races on a row for Mr. David Payne. This is a second one to my career. So uh, thank you so much for everyone who are putting effort every morning through our stable to do the work. Also the joggers work riders and everyone who are involving on the team. Also the, our team that are watching the TV back home. Probably they are helping around the corner of course was waiting for this moment to come to us. And then big, big thanks to make them always to be behind of us to supporting us at the racing, encouraging us with everything, to always be on front of us. Guys, make sure of focusing on your work, do your work. So as I'm always feeling, hoping to be, to, to be made them to be behind of him. And then well done for our sponsor also, Petway, to keep always supporting and then giving the, our staffs to our grooms and whatever you want to do, our stable to always putting the effort. So we are helping to always working together as a team. And then big salute to congregation to Mrs. Mary Select for such a beautiful horses that you have to us. We are helping with it. We are helping a lot to support that always giving us. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you so, so well said. And of course, it's a tribute to you from a mic that he allows you yeah. to look after the horses on such a big day. Well done to you. And uh, may you guys continue the good work. Uh, to you, to Mike, uh, to uh, Vengi, the whole team behind the scenes. Very well played. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Salute there is Mr. Everyone. Stephen Watson with uh, your uh, trophy. That is a trainer's a trophy. Well done to David. And uh, very eloquent put in a deed. All right, up next uh, we are going to have uh, Mrs. Mary Slack. What a pleasure it is to have her. And of course, I was just saying it is unfortunate due to logistical problems that Jessie couldn't make it here and I'm sure wherever she is, while she's jumping for joy, she is also heartbroken. But she knows you are here in uh, the horses in capable hands. No, I mean, she really was, she said she was standing in the middle of the airport crying because the first plane was delayed. The second one was canceled. And then they lost her luggage, so she finally said she couldn't carry on. <laughs> wow, so looking forward to the glee that she shows, all that uh, bubbliness. But uh, I wish you well, well bred once again. You uh, really have uh, bred a wonderful sort and you've lit up our lives, uh, certainly for this season. But it's just wonderful for Jess, wonderful for the farms, great for Mike, great for Di, and everybody else in the stable. Thank you so, so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. There is a floating trophy for the winning owners, and that, that is uh, going to be for the Empress Club 2024. Very well done indeed, Mrs. Mary Slack. And of course, uh, Jesse, I know you will see footage of this in time to come. A very well done to you. That is uh, the running of the first of our Group 1 features. And of course, lest we forget the first of our four races as part of our World of Pool Day. This is the first one on the high felt, and we've set the tone up for the next uh, three Group 1 features. It is a piece, speedsters up next, but of course, before we go anywhere, come closer, my brother, and uh, congratulations to you. I didn't get your name. Yeah, I'm Godfrey. 
Godfrey. Godfrey, we have met and spoken many a time, but you guys have done a tremendous job. Can't be easy coming into a big day like this, but you've handled it uh, well. Yeah, she's managing to handle the situation very well. She's a little bit uh, uptight, but she's delivering when she's in the races. So it's well done to her, well done to the team, well done to the boss, to madam, uh, Mrs. Slack. It's well done to the whole team. You're stuck for us, I know. Go and enjoy this. It is a tremendous victory indeed. I know you've got Epico coming up next, but for now, just enjoy the victory of Give Me Another. Yeah, we're enjoying the moment for now. Yes, there's, a float, there's a trophy for you to take home, and it is going to be presented by Mrs. Slack. Well done to you guys, and regards to everybody back home. Very well done indeed, and of course, courtesy of the World Sports Betting. I checked out to the winning groom. Well done to Godfrey. Thank you, sir. Thank you so, so much. And of course, uh, thank you very much uh, to both Mrs. Mary Slack and uh, to uh, Head of Content, and that is uh, Stephen Watson. I don't know if uh, Mrs. De Kock would like to say a few words uh, to us. No, she has just uh, nodded. Would you like to come through and say a few words? Thank you very much. Always good to see you on course. And of course, uh, Johnny, part of the team, well done to you two guys as well. Just come through for a second. You're speaking on behalf of both Jesse and Mike, both to whom you're close with and associated with. How are they both feeling right now? Well, I haven't spoken to Mike. I spoke to him earlier on the day. Um, what, what, obviously, I was behind the start, Cecil. I did see a hit ahead at the gates. I thought, oh my goodness, I hope nothing serious. JP was very quick to call the vet and, and ask him to have a check, and thank goodness everything went well. I haven't seen the race because I was at the start. I was trying to catch up, uh, catch the ambulance, but unfortunately I couldn't catch up, so I haven't seen the race. But she's a special filly, isn't she? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a bit teary-eyed there. I am. I am. It's, uh, listen, I mean, just to get them to win a race um, is, is hard enough. And winning six in group ones like this, um, obviously she's got a little bit of a quirk, so, you know, look... Um, full credit to the team and yeah, like obviously uh, Jessie had her, her travel issues and she couldn't get here but uh, yeah listen uh, there's, no, there's actually no words to describe it brother you just go and take it all in we'll be back together again for we race number just, seven thank you so so much well that is uh, the interview concluded it is an emotional moment all round it is give me another seven from seven and landing the uh, group one uh, 2024 2024 empress the club we've got uh, three more to come through it's the speedsters up next that is the 2024 renewal of the group one uh, computer form sprint don't blink or you'll miss it all together we'll be back with a preview and uh, talking to the connections as we lead up to race number seven <laughs>